Hi, and welcome to the Chest Sculpting Core Exercises DVD series. The first thing I get asked about these videos is, why the heck is there only one chest exercise in a DVD series that's about chest sculpting? Don't worry, there's a good reason for this. For you to lose chest fat and build a powerful chest, you have to build a strong foundation. This question is like going to a building construction site while the foundations are being built and asking, why the heck are these guys building downwards when they should be building upwards? In this DVD series, I show you the core exercises that everyone should start out on, regardless of what part of your body you want to build muscle or lose fat from. I know guys who have taken just these core foundation exercises and sculpted some amazingly jaw-dropping physiques without ever even going near the advanced exercises I talk about in the Chest Sculpting Newsletter and in my program, The Chest Sculpting Blueprint. There's no rocket science here. Building a powerful masculine physique is all about sticking to some basic, proven principles and exercises. The only reason people find it so hard to build the body of their dreams is there's too much confounding information out there, too many fancy exercises and routines, too many different types of diets. In chest sculpting, I cut through all the crap and take you back to the basics, the same basic exercises, routines, diets, and mental strategies that the world's greatest athletes use to build phenomenal physiques. The quickest, easiest, and most reliable way to build the body of your dreams is to follow a basic core exercise routine consistently. Consistency is key here. A client I'm working with recently asked me, what's the most important element of training? I told him that without a doubt, consistent training is the most important aspect of athletic success. Even a poorly designed training routine will give you results if you use it consistently. And the best training routine in the world will give you jack all if you don't follow it consistently. It's not what we do once in a while that shapes our lives. It's what we do consistently. Anthony Robbins. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Bruce Lee. Success isn't always about greatness. It's about consistency. Consistent hard work gains success. Greatness will come. Dwayne Johnson, The Rock. Do the exercises I show you in this DVD consistently just three days a week. Be consistent, and soon enough you'll shed those extra pounds and grow some impressive muscles that you can start showing off at the beach very soon. Most of the exercises I show you may not seem like chest exercises, but there is more chest in them than meets the eye. With this routine, your chest will flatten out way quicker than the usual crap you see everyone else doing at the gym. Before we get to the exercises, let me just quickly mm. set some ground rules. If you're new to weight training, do one set of each exercise to start out with. Do 10 repetitions. When you hit your first training plateau, increase to two sets, then three. As time goes by, make sure you increase the weight. Your muscles will only continue to grow if you give it progressive loads over time. Use free weights where you can. I won't go into it here, I'll simply say this. No one ever got big using those fancy machines you see at the gym. Free weights are the key to real muscle growth and that real rugged masculine look. Don't train every day. Like I said before, train three days per week. Your body needs to rest for your muscles to grow. Rest is also important for optimal hormonal balance. Hormonal balance plays an important role in flattening out that chest. Okay, so if you're ready, let's begin. Exercise one, the barbell squat. The barbell squat is the king of all mass builders. Back in the day before steroids came on the scene, the squats and milk program was the backbone of any mass building program. But you might be thinking, what will squats do for my chest? Squats will help your chest in many different ways. I'll mention two here. One, studies have shown that exercises like squats that stimulate the largest muscle groups in your body cause increased levels of the hormone testosterone, not just in your legs, but all over your body, including your chest. We know from science and clinical medicine that where the female hormone estrogen increases chest fat, the male hormone testosterone takes away fat from the chest. Two, the body doesn't allow too much disproportionate muscle growth. Studies have found that if you train only your left arm, your right arm will grow in an effort to catch up. If you train your legs, your entire body, including your chest, grows in an effort to catch up. Because the muscles in your legs are the largest in your body. But if you don't train your legs and you just train the small muscles in your chest, the growth in your chest will be restricted so your body can be proportionate. Does that make sense? I, I hope I'm not getting too technical with you here. Anyway, enough with the theory. Here's the exercise. The Barbell Squat Bending at the knees, hold the bar with an overhand grip. Make sure your back is straight and you are facing forward before you lift. 
clean the bar to your shoulders. Then push the bar up over your head and rest it across the back of your shoulders. If the weight is too heavy to push with your arms, bend at your knees and use your legs to help in the effort. While inhaling, slowly lower the bar by bending your knees. Be sure to maintain a straight posture with your back straight and your head up, facing forward. Go down as low as you can. While exhaling, slowly move back up to the starting position, then repeat. When finished, bring the weight back over your head to your front. Use your legs again to push if needed. Carefully lower the weight back down to the floor by bending at the knees and keeping your back straight. Exercise two, the deadlift. Here's another important mass builder. Where the squat mostly targets the front of your body, namely the quads and your legs, the deadlift focuses more on the back, known as the posterior chain, the hamstrings, glutes, and lower back. Doing both exercises gives you an extra muscle building, fat burning, and testosterone enhancing boost. When you get to doing three sets of squats, stick to still just doing one set of deadlifts, because both exercises hit the lower back pretty hard, and there's only so much the lower back can handle. Here's the exercise. The deadlift. Stand in front of the barbell with your feet shoulder width apart. Lower yourself and grasp the barbell with an overhand grip, hands wider than shoulder width apart. Your arms should be in a position where your inner forearms are touching the outside of your thighs. The bar should be close to and nearly touching your shins. Make sure you are bending more at the hip than you are at the knees. Face forward and keep your back straight to avoid injury. Grip the bar tight and slowly stand up with the barbell following the line of your shins. Stop when you are standing straight, the bar held in front of your thighs. Do not lean backwards. Leaning back is pointless. It will not give you any extra muscle growth and will more likely lead to injury. Now slowly lower the weight in the same fashion back toward the floor. Remember to keep the bar in contact with the body throughout the movement, or as close to the body as possible. To maintain the tension in your muscles, begin the next rep without allowing the weights to touch the floor. Exercise 3, the bench press. There are many different variations of the bench press. I get into some advanced versions in the Chest Sculpting newsletter and in my new program, the Chest Sculpting Blueprint. But there are some tweaks you can make to the classic bench press that makes it quite effective. In the following video, notice how the guy in the video has his elbows flared out. This is very taboo nowadays because it puts the shoulders in a weak position and can lead to injury. But this only happens if you overtrain and don't allow enough time for your muscles to heal. By flaring your elbows out, you stimulate those pec fibers along their line of axis. This hits your chest much harder. But hey, if you already have shoulder problems or you find the exercise too painful, feel free to tuck your elbows in a bit. The bench press. Hold the bar with an overhand grip. Make sure your hands are spaced wider than shoulder width apart. A wide grip allows you to target the outer portion of your pecs, helping to make your chest wider. While inhaling, slowly lower the bar to your chest. Without pausing, slowly push the weight away from your chest, back to the starting position while exhaling. Pause for a brief moment at the top, then repeat. Exercise 4, the lat pulldown. The lat pulldown and the next exercise, wide grip pull-ups, train the back. Now what does a back exercise have to do with the chest? I mean, who the hell wants to train the back when nobody ever sees your back? Well, the back is more important than most people think. What do you see when the typical steroid-pumped muscle freak walks out of the gym? His arms are bent at 90 degrees. With some of the guys, you can't even force their arms straight without snapping their bicep tendons. So what are they doing wrong? Well, these guys are training their biceps more than they're training the opposing muscles, the triceps. When the biceps are stronger than the triceps, your arms will be held bent at 90 degrees. The same shit happens when you train your chest more than you train your upper back. Since the muscles in your chest have attachments in your shoulders, if the pectoralis major muscle in your chest is stronger than the muscles in your upper back, your shoulders will be held forward. You'll end up with a hunched position with a narrow and thickened chest that just makes you look like you've got man boobs. On the other hand, if you train your back well, your shoulders will be held back, and your upper body will be wider, giving you that powerful masculine V taper. So without boring you with more theory, here's the lat pulldown. 
set the weight on the lat pull-down machine. A good starting point is half your body weight. Grab the handlebars with your palms facing forward. Get into position by leaning back. Leaning back makes you target the lats in a way that better opens the chest. Pull the bar down to your upper chest, making sure that your elbows are always pointing down. Exhale while pulling the bar down. While inhaling, slowly raise the bar back up to the starting position. Lean forward a little at the top to get that extra stretch in the lats. Exercise 5. Wide Grip Pull-Ups You know, I just love this little story. The legendary Vince Garanda was once asked what the lat pull-down machine was used for by one of his students. Vince looked over at it, pointed, and said, That machine? It's for guys who can't do pull-ups. Pull-ups are tough for most untrained guys, so it's okay to start out with the lat pull-down. The lat pull-down is basically a simulation of the pull-up. The main difference is the pull-up uses your body weight, so you can't use a lighter weight. Studies have shown that body weight exercises stimulate more muscle groups than the same exercises performed on machines. When you move your whole body through space, your muscles have to work in a different way to maintain your balance and your posture throughout the exercise. This extra muscular stimulation results in better gains. So do lat pull-downs if you need, but always aim to eventually move to doing pull-ups. Wide Grip Pull-Ups Grasp an overhead bar with your palms facing forward, hands wider than shoulder width apart. Cross your feet behind you so you are hanging from the bar. Pull yourself up as high as you can, ideally to the point where your upper chest is touching the bar. Exhale while doing this. While inhaling, slowly lower yourself back down to the starting position and repeat. Exercise 6. The Shoulder Press Alright, so why are shoulders important in chest sculpting? Well, a powerful set of shoulders just adds to your upper body look. Big shoulders are a mark of masculinity. They make you look powerful, and if you have man boobs, they take attention away from your chest. If you have a powerful set of pecs, then a set of boulders for shoulders just makes the whole setup look that much better. Here's the exercise. The Shoulder Press While standing, clean the barbell to your shoulders. Hold the bar with an overhand grip, hands wider than shoulder width apart. Keeping your back completely straight without arching backwards, press the weight up with your arms until your elbows are fully locked out and the barbell is held directly above you. Exhale while doing this. While inhaling, lower the weight back down to the starting position in a slow and controlled manner. Then repeat. Remember to keep your back straight throughout the exercise. Do not arch backwards. All right, so that's it with the chest sculpting core exercises. Remember, be consistent in your training and you will see results. Start setting those foundations now and reap the rewards of a powerful physique in the future. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to check your inbox for the chest sculpting newsletter while I'll be sharing more advanced tips and tricks on how to blast away that chest fat and sculpt that powerful masculine physique you've always wanted. If you want to take things to the next level, get a hold of the chest sculpting blueprint. I share with you the insider techniques I use with my own private clients.